Now, our own Pat Bailey has been on the ground in Watertown since the early morning hours. Within the past hour, police forced him to move away from where our live shot location was set up. So he joins us by phone now and what has been really a momentous morning. Pat, what can you tell us? Well, Liz, it's been an incredible last 45 minutes, really. That's when all the action happened. We were sitting at a certain spot about a quarter mile from where we are right now on Arsenal Street in Watertown. There was a, uh, a scene set up there uh, where we were all morning. Um, about three blocks where media and police believed that this uh, suspect was inside uh, throughout the night and into the morning. So we had been set up there. About 45 minutes or so ago, uh, there was a lot of commotion. You saw a few police officers uh, get in a car and drive down the street. Then the media picked up on what's going on. Uh, they all ran down the street with their cameras. And the next thing you know, when you turned around, it just the police came uh, out of nowhere, practically. There was uh, dozens, possibly hundreds, uh, running down the street. They had their weapons drawn. They were screaming at us to get back uh, away from the scene. Uh, as we did get back, we kept going back farther and farther. And at one point, uh, we got back to our original spot uh, where we saw somebody being arrested. Now, we don't know the circumstances of that arrest, but we did see one gentleman being arrested. Again, we don't know the circumstances of it. While we were back at the area where they told us to be, uh, then got more commotion came out of nowhere, and police yelled, get down, get down, where the media were then all laying on the ground. Uh, a lot of people, of course, in fear uh, for a good maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And right. then 